Oh, wow. Yes. This humanoid robot has just sold some of her art. A hand-painted self-portrait by Sophia from Hong Kong-based Hansen Robotics sold at auction on March 25th for nearly 700,000 US dollars. Titled Sophia Instantiation, the 12-second MP4 video file sold in the form of a non-fungible token. These digital-only items have made the art scene sit up and take notice. So what exactly is an NFT? Why all the buzz about them? And is their rise the start of a new wave of art investment? NFTs are transforming our idea of what is valuable. They are essentially tokens that represent proof of ownership of an item. We're familiar with physical goods like antiques, jewelry, paintings, or designer handbags selling for exceptional prices. But in recent months, digital art and digital memorabilia have proven to be just as valuable. One example went on auction on March 22nd. Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey's first tweet on the new platform sold as an NFT for 2.9 million US dollars. The buyer was Sina Estavi, a Malaysia-based businessman who owns blockchain company Bridge Oracle. But days earlier, this work had already set the record. Every Days, the first 5,000 days, is a collage of 5,000 images created by a digital artist over more than 13 years. On March 11th, the JPEG was sold at a Christie's auction as an NFT for 69.3 million US dollars. It was bought by a pair of Singapore-based tech entrepreneurs who said they were prepared to pay even more. Their closing bid put the American artist Beeple in the top three among most valuable living artists. So why would anyone pay for something that has been, is, and will be freely available to anyone? An NFT is unique. No two are the same. It has its own blockchain-based signature that allows anyone to verify its authenticity and ownership. A bit like an autograph from a superstar on a t-shirt, the NFT itself is the creator's autograph on the content, making it unique and therefore valuable. And enthusiasts and investors are pouring into a market they see as a new way to invest. Owning digital content can be a financial investment because something has sentimental value or a way to create a relationship between collector and creator. Thank you very much for joining with me and supporting me today. The virtual, the real, the imaginal, and the literal. This kind of spirit of creativity and technology working together gives me hope that we can solve anything. While the NFT represents ownership of an asset, it does not necessarily come along with copyright for a work. Skeptics say NFT buyers simply have too much money in their pockets. What we're seeing right now, it looks like a, a bit of a bubble, uh, especially in the NFT art world. And, and I would really advise people to, um, like anything else, only invest what you're willing to lose or what you can afford to lose. Uh, and if you're looking at art, buy it because you love it, not because you think it's going to go up in value. The same rules apply uh, with anything uh, in NFT art as they do in the real world uh, and traditional art. Uh, really think about it for its fundamental value rather than for its investment value. In New York, this gallery even opened a physical space dedicated to the exhibition of NFT artworks. This is the future. We're all betting on the future because NFTs allow for artist royalties. And that's the most important thing about all of this, is that if everyone gets involved and everyone takes this seriously, this can really live, this can exist. That's a world that keeps artists sustainable. That's a world that keeps artists making art. And it tethers them in a healthy way to the capitalism that surrounded the art world the entire time. Some believe the entire physical art market will digitize towards NFTs in the next five years or so. No matter what the future brings, NFTs are currently making art history. Yeah.